Good morning everyone. Oh goody, it's put the light on so it looks brighter. It's very dark still. It is 5.46. Just catching up on the news. Here's the monster. Hello. Ash is getting ready in the room. And the day has begun. Happy Thursday. Hello again, it's quarter to seven, uh, quarter to eight. Pete just left. Ash left at ten past six. Luna's wondering why everyone comes and goes. He's got a full day again today. He's got two students every half an hour. Now with the school um, not opening in September, we're trying to see if we can continue in that room through September. At the moment, it's a no, because um, some of the teachers will be in school apparently. Um, but we're trying to, oh, I need a haircut again already. Um, we're trying to see if we can stay there because then if we carried on once a week through the month of September at the rate Pete's going, we could get at least another 100 portraits done, which would be 268, which would leave us approximately 100 for the fall. Um, so anyway, they, they said we could move into a different room, but the thing is, if there's no AC and it's hot in September, there's no point in us doing it. And if we do do it, we're, I'm gonna have to go through and call all the people we've told it'll be October so they can go online and make appointments. Anyway, I, I keep telling Pete, I keep getting extremely overwhelmed because things are changing. Um, they don't know when school is reopening right now. Like I said, it's just closing for September. And I guess halfway through September, They'll reconvene and decide what they're doing for October. But uh, yeah, that's the plan as we, as we know it. I am about to fall asleep. I literally had an hour's sleep last night because I was waking up and then at five o'clock I'm like, up again. <laughs> so I was awake, I heard Ashley moving around. So I thought, let me just wait till she goes downstairs with Luna, then I'll get up, which is what I did. I got up around 5.15. So I definitely will be needing another coffee. Just trying to edit yesterday's vlog first. Pete's already had a phone call. 7.15 this morning. What do I need to wear? Because you didn't read the points. Because when they make their appointment online, there's all these boxes they have to check, which tells them what to wear, where to go, about the cancellation if they don't show up, etc., etc. So... He goes, well, I didn't make it. My mum did. That's why we please, please ask the parents to let the kids make it. But there again, will they still read the boxes? I don't know. We can only do so much. What do they say? You can only lead a horse to water. You cannot make him drink. Right, guys, I'm going to go and speak to you in a bit. Luna, turn the light on. <laughs> She's like demolished so many toys. Where's the light? Where's the light? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Soon be Christmas, Luna. I hope you're going to be good with the tree this year. Watch my fingers. Good girl. Where's Ash? <laughs> Is she going to come home soon? Oh, no. I've got her excited for now. Not yet, buddy. Pete's having a heck of a day and all, I think. I haven't heard a word from him since this morning. When somebody was late, late, late. <laughs> She's not coming home yet, son. But soon, I tried to say soon. She'll be home soon. Soon. Hello everyone, Pete and Ash are home. So, oh, I gotta take my makeup off, isn't it? I don't know, I've been rubbing my eye a bit. The silly headache, guys. The silly headache is hanging on. Get lost. So anyway, I was outside. I took Luna outside. As she came home, Luna went berserk. As she came up to change, Luna started crying at me, so I took her outside. As soon as I take her outside, as she walks out on the back deck, Luna decides, oh, there's Ashley. I don't want to pee anymore. Wants to go in. I refuse to let her in because she hasn't peed since one o'clock. And then I'm trying to walk around the garden and then in, in, in comes Pete. Luna's 
definitely doesn't want anything to do with going for a wee at that point because Pete's now home. Pete's like, here, I'll take her and you go upstairs. No, you just walked in from a long day of photographs since he left the house at uh, quarter to eight this morning. Absolutely not. And he pulls in the driveway at 4.30. Um, I said, did that young girl show up? The one that was at the hairdressers? The one that told him she'd be there in a couple of minutes? He, oh yeah, she showed up an hour later. An appointment is an appointment. Um, anyway, um, and then one young lady didn't show up this afternoon, so, and there was no calls. So she clearly forgot, which is really ironic because when I used to make the appointments for the kids, way back in the beginning, I used to call everybody the night before and I found that that made it worse because then they thought, oh, I've got a chance to back out. No. So, um... I stopped calling everybody. Well, now that they're doing it online, they get an email and a text two days before their appointment. So 48 hours ago. So there's no reason she should have forgotten her appointment. But uh, yep, we've only got one day left. We will not be doing the pictures through September like we kind of hoped. Seeing the school's not open, it's just too much palaver going on. So, but the way poor Pete looks, this morning was the first time, I think I said it earlier, that he walked out, he looked absolutely done in and I felt horrible. So um, hopefully he won't be doing any senior portraits in September. We won't be doing underclassmen in September. We'll probably be doing everything in October. So October's gonna be mental. Um, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's definitely getting warmer tonight. And I think that's another reason the headache's not going. I, I should, hey, uh, who's she? Alexa. Alexa. What's the temperature? Right now, it's 78 degrees. Yeah, it's only 78. So, guys, expect a low of 64 degrees. Thank you, Alexa. Um, I lost one of my Avon earrings. I'm so bummed. These pretty little silver ones that I said I didn't want to lose. I was doing this downstairs. I'm like, where is it? Well, I found the back in the bed, but I can't find the front. So, it's either in the sheets somewhere or it's under the bed with the dust bunnies, so never to be seen again. Which is a shame. I know they were Avon, but they were proper silver and they're cute. Susan, huh? Look how cute they are. You can't see. Never mind me, it doesn't turn that way. I don't know. I'm going to chill out and see what this message is all about. Talk to you later, guys. Here's the ashes inside doing homework. Beats it inside doing something, probably downloading the pictures from today. Just came downstairs, there was two women stood on the front doorstep and I was dressed like this, so I'm like, uh, Pete? He said, oh, they're coming by to drop off an order, but they weren't supposed to come, they said they were coming at 7.30. Oh well, it's so nice tonight. I can't believe how gorgeous it is, look at that. Beautiful. So I changed my appointment from Saturday to tomorrow um, because I realized the time I made my appointment was the time I chat with my mum and I'd rather chat with my mum than be sitting in a nail salon on a Saturday. So I'm going to go tomorrow afternoon. Yes. It's so nice. Can't get over how nice it is. It's not humid. I don't know if those are crickets. You guys have a different name for them over here, though. Luna was with me. Where's she gone? Oh, there she is. She's right behind me. So we're going to do burgers on the grill. And I'm actually looking forward to it. So talk to you guys. She's doing her work. So far, she's gotten all A's on her finals, haven't you? Yep. Yep. Doing really well. What's he saying, Luna? What's he saying?
Let's see. Okay, guys, I'm keeping it in the dark. It's poor head of mine. 9 p.m. Just watched Big Brother. And uh, saw who got evicted. I'm not going to say just in case anybody's taping it. Just washed the kitchen floor. Now it's time to go chill out. Hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Whatever it is you guys did today, hope it was a good one. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Good night, guys, and stay safe.